Hey guys, Super Pokemon here, bringing you guys PSA Returns. This is part two of the Aquapolis Reverse Hollow PSA Returns. And so, in the first part, this is the 10 stack, this is the 9 stack, this is the 8s. In part one, we had 64 cards. In part two, the second half of this, I actually sent off 60 cards. And so, we're actually going to get right into this. I opened these up, obviously, to make it a little easier. I have not seen the grades. I have no idea what they... Actually, look, it's still sealed right there. There we go. Um, I have no idea what they graded, so this will be my first time seeing them. And what I thought I would do with this one, since literally the returns came back almost the exact same time, is I would leave these two stacks right here to see how these compare against those as we hopefully stack them up. So here we go. Aquapolis Reversal. This should be Uncommons, Commons, Trainers, Energies, things like that. Um, nice! Larvitar, PSA 10. So not the, the hollow rares and the, the kind of the big chase cards that most people are going for. This is for like the completionists, the people that like literally get down the nitty gritty. They just want to get every single card. Here we go. Nice. Kangaskhan, PSA 10. That's a that's a pretty solid start right there. Two 10s in a row. I'll take that. Ooh, round door, PSA 10, number 87. This, um, I'm trying to think of 87's in. It might be a different set that 87's a tough one, but still gorgeous looking card there. And just to refresh everyone, this is from the $2,800 lot I bought. Um, I think I bought it earlier this year, but I showed it to you guys in May. And, ooh, dude, we are four for four on tens. That's actually pretty solid. That's that's pretty amazing, actually. And so a big part of this is to see if I made a good choice in buying that lot. You know, I, I told you guys I was thinking about sending it back, but I thought that the cards were strong. So I thought it was worth the risk. And, dude, it is worth the risk, man. Like... We are five for five on tens right now. This is this is awesome. A little nick down here in the bottom. First nine is horsey laying on a shelter. But is that like the biggest horsey you've ever seen? Or is that like the smallest shelter you've ever seen? I don't know. It didn't even say the height and weight because, again, with E-Series, they actually took off the height and weight. Uh, I don't know if that was in Neo or E-Series, but I'm pretty sure they took it off somewhere around here. Nice. Hop it. PSA 10. Very, very nice, dude. So we're six for one right now. I mean, this is, I can't think of a returns that start off better than this, actually. Oh, hit on top, PSA 9. As soon as I start talking here, you know, it's going to mix it up for us. Um, I'm going to say a 9. Hit on Chan, PSA 9. Again, you got to love the artwork on these, that big old punching bag right there. These are, um, you know, these are old cards. I got a big nick in the top right up here. Growlithe, dude, is Growlithe not a hard card to grade or what, man? I think it's Sky Ridge number 53 maybe, or maybe it's Aquapolis number 53, but dude, one of those is like a just a ridiculously hard card to grade. Uh, dude, this is a 10. This is solid. Oh, ooh, man. Hit the 9 right there. All right, so as soon as I start talking, these stacks are evening up. Goldeen, PSA 9, and now they're even. And now the nine stack is pulling ahead. Oh my gosh, this is another nine. Oh, this is Eevee too. Man. You know, you know there's some like major Eevee collectors out there. You got Quador, who's like the massive like Pikachu collector, but then you have like the Eevee collectors out there. Uh here we go. This is a 10. Nice. 74B. Uh so remember I mentioned there were four like A and B cards. This is another one of them. So drowsy, number 74B. And maybe we have an A right after it. Nope. We have a Q-Bone, PSA 9. So he's juggling bones. It's either random bones or he's juggling bones. I don't know. One of the two. But there's a reason those bones are in the air. Uh, this is a 10. Nice. Not sure how to say that. Not even going to risk it. Not going to risk getting roasted. All right. Another one of these. Got a 9. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Nice. And what's good about this is we have no H yet, no AIDS. And I probably shouldn't have said that because, you know, an AIDS going to come like right after I say that. Oh, nice. We got an APOM, number 67. That's beautiful. That's nice. So really, if you look at it so far, it's pretty in line with what we expected. So, I mean, what, what the other returns had. And part of the reason, you know, I split up the, uh, the uh, submission is that Sometimes, you know, with grading, you know, it's it's very, they, they, they follow a standard, you know, they lay out, but, you know, it's a human grading it. 
And so sometimes you get a grader that, for whatever reason, they're grading really, really harsh that day, and you have like 500 cards that just go wrong or 100 cards that go wrong. So by splitting these up into 50 card submissions, I mitigate that risk. And that's, that's part of the rationale for splitting it up is that, you know, someone may grade real easy, some may grade real hard. It could go either way, but by having more submissions, um, I basically reduce the risk of um, having a grader that, that way, sways one way or the other. And you hope that they don't, but again, they're human, so as humans, we, we aren't perfect. And that's just, uh, that's just the case. Ooh, Tentacle 9. Ooh, it's a nice looking Tentacle too. This is actually very closely in line with the Tentacruel artwork. Um, that's the, the, the hollow version of the set, so that's, that's interesting. It's the first time I looked at Tentacle in a long time. This is a 9 uh, Tangela. Next up, ooh, Slowpoke. It's in line with that Slowbro and uh, Slow King from earlier in the, uh, in the rares. Smeargle, number 9, or PSA 9. And dude, the stacks are moving. The stacks are moving. Sneasel, PSA 9. Reminds me of the Neo Genesis Sneasel. Next up, dude, another nine. Oh my gosh, and that has a, uh, a certain number on that. It's 900. That's kind of cool. Some people do chase certs. Like, they don't even care about the card. They want a cert that's like all zeros or something. Dude, another one. Oh man. Like, we were, we were mixing up there for a bit, but now we, we're on a. We're on a nine streak, man. We really are. Dude. Another nine. All right, so I'm going to say this is, this is also probably a nine. I mean, you see Edgeware on the corners and stuff. It doesn't deserve a ten, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, let's take a look at this nine. That's pretty. Uh, this looks pretty good. What I'm talking about here is a little like edgeware up here, a little nick in the bottom right. So I'm not gonna comment on that anymore. You guys completely understand. Uh, nice Porygon PSA nine with a three A. It happens to it happens to everyone both ways, both ways of the spectrum right there. Um, I think this is a I think this is a ten shot. Nope. Did, see, it didn't get the 10 right there. Oh, man. I like the color, though. I really do like the color. Uh, I do not think this is a 10. Pincer. And... Uh, <laughs> I almost said Flaffy. It's a uh, Fanfy. There we go. Number 100 right there. Oh, our first A to the submission. So that's going down there. Paris. Let's keep it going. Nice Onyx, probably one of my favorite like Onyxes ever. I mean, this is this is way way up there. I always thought this was so cool, you know, in the sunlight or the sunset, you know, just going. I mean, this is like the depiction of the journey of literally like in this card. So I've always thought this is a really cool looking card. Next up, Nidoran, very nice little rainbow. Almost reminds me of like something that would be on, like on a Lucky Charms box. That's uh, cereal here in the United States. Uh, next up, Mareep, PSA 9. Not a big fan of this artwork. I've never really been a fan of uh, this style, so doesn't really appeal to me. Mankey, PSA 9, another rainbow in there. I wonder how many cards in Aquapolis have rainbows in them. Magnemite, PSA 9. And I was wondering if that was one of the blurred, blurred cards where like the uh, text is blurred, but... Again, not really, but you do see it. I remember thinking one in the last slot had that. Big Nick up here on the top right. Oh, Licky Tongue. Um, so this is actually one of the hardest cards in the set to grade. I've gone through many of these. I have not graded 10 myself. I can't remember if I bought a 10 from someone recently or not, but like, I think I ended up buying a 9 literally just so I could complete the set. Because uh, like for PSA set registry, you have to have like one of every card. and You don't have to be 10s, but... You know, you could have a, like a 9 or an 8 or even like a 1 in there. But you have to have at least like complete the set, like have one of every card. And so I think I bought a 9 literally just so I can complete the set. Um, oh, dude, we're in the energies now. Ooh, man. Big old print line right there. Dude, I didn't even think about that. Like the end of the pack being energies. 
Man, dude, these energies are tough to grade. Like, no joke, they are, they are tough. Oh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. We got a Crystal Energy PSA 10. That's awesome. That's awesome. Dude, that's... Dude, these energies are gorgeous. Because it's, it's like, where are you going to find them? Like, where are you going to get them? I mean, you literally have to open packs or buy a master set like I did to, to get these. Like, finding these in, like, this pristine, just gem mint condition is very, very difficult when it comes to these energy cards. And so, yeah, it just... I, I feel very fortunate just to li literally get a single 10 on those energies. Oh, Boost Energy 9. Getting to see another print line up there. So I may go back and take another look at all these that have print lines, but I feel like the print line may be a big factor in why they're getting nines because very consistently I'm seeing the print line on the nines there. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Rainbow Energy PSA 10. That's nice. That's nice. A little reprint from Team Rocket right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. I mean, whoo. That's a classic right there with the E-Series border. A uh, little nick up here. PSA 9, Metal Energy. Stack is dwindling here. Nice. Power Plant, PSA 10, number 139. Dude, I'll be so happy when the trainers, I get all the trainers because it's like, you don't come by trainers all that often. And people, it's not like a card they think to grade. But, I mean, you got to get one of every card if you're going to complete the set. So I'll be happy whenever that we get to that point. Ooh, Undersea Ruins. And this card, again, reminds me of that Tentacruel, that Tentacool from earlier, just that, that same coloration, just being down in the, literally in the sea, Aquapolis. But I just love how it, the character of this set is, is just shown throughout each of the cards. Uh, this has some edgework at the top. We'll corner it down here, Nick up here. So, yep, PSA 9. A little Hoot Hoot, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. A whooper in the background. It's a pretty solid card, actually. Nice little artwork. And here we go. Ooh. Super Energy Removal 2. And again, you can see that print line going across the top. Very consistent. I mean, it, it's, being, it's been very consistent. Nick up here. Seer. PSA 9. And... Oh, PSA 8. I think I've actually hit an 8 on this card multiple times before. So it's, it's actually very peculiar that, you know, maybe this is just one of the harder cards to grade. So that's actually interesting to get an 8 on that. All right, we're getting down to it. PSA 9, Pokemon Fan Club. I think this is a popular card. At least from, I think, like just sales and prices and things like that that I remember. Big Nick up here. Healing Berry, PSA 9. But you can see the big difference in 9 and 10 stack. I mean, that's pretty big. Oh, man, another eight. So we had three eights in the first one, and then we have three eights in this so far. All right, all right, here we go. PSA 9, Lightning Cube. Oh, man, I don't think we're going to I don't know if we're going to have any more 10s. I really don't. Oh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Oh, man, dude, I, so I saw the little, uh, see the edge up here isn't perfect. And so it's like, you know, it's like that's not quite perfect. And so that was my thought process behind that. And I think we're going to hit max recording time here soon. I think I remember that. Yep, we just hit max recording time. Dude, it's like always 13.33 for me. So it's like now, it's happened to me so many times. I just like look out for it. I know what's going to happen. So we got the 10 on this. And we're almost done here. Uh, this is has the same thing as this card, but it actually the, the edge... Like the edge where actually goes down a little bit on this side of the card. So you got PSA 9 Fighting Cube. And then... Uh, yeah, dude, literally same thing. Two Nicks up here. Darkness Cube, PSA 9. Uh, this I thought I had the print line, but it doesn't. Two more cards left. Vulpix. Oh, man. Oof. It kind of looks like a small Vulpix, actually, when you look at the comparison of like how big that is to the Vulpix. Last card. Dude, I think there's a chance. There's a chance. PSA 10 Voltorb, if I don't like hit the card in the stack. Sorry about that. So PSA 10 Voltorb, that's uh, that's pretty cool. To hit that on number 115. I think uh, this card's actually... I, I need to double check if I need that. But just to give you guys a just quick comparison here. Um, you know, if we just like take a look at these. You can see the two stacks from the cards here. Pretty much... The second set of uh, returns we had actually did 
much worse than the PSA 10s, even though we had like five tens like right out of the gate right there. Then we had like all these nines with that. Uh, same amount of eights, we had three eights in both. But you know, comparatively, the front half did better in the second half, which is really what you want because these are the where the really high value cards are. And so I'll go through prices, the duplicates, the ones I don't need. Um, I am putting together a PSA 9 Aquapolis reverse auto set. I'm not actually I'm actually not too far away from that. So a lot of these nines will probably go into that. And I'm trying to build it. It's like a 140 some card set. And I think what I'll do right now, just to show you, kind of if I stack them all up together. Oh, this is gonna freak some people out. I know, just because it's gonna be like the wobbly tower. But just to show you, like comparatively, what these two look like side by side. Oh, dude, that's actually kind of wobbly. All right, so this is literally what these look like: the PSA 10 stack, the PSA 9 stack, for the full Aquapolis Reverse Hall set. Um, again, it didn't grade all the cards. I think it graded like maybe 60%, maybe well, I guess 60, 124. Uh, so I actually graded pretty much all the cards, but like 25 of them, somewhere around there, 20 of them. Because uh, I think there's 147 cards in the set, I graded 124 of them. So, yeah, so that's actually pretty good. For buying a master set and getting that many 10s, that's spectacular. The 9s, the 8s. Again, like I said in the first video, having an 8 set that this, that's this low is really, really good. Uh, so I'll stop it there. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll reply as I always do. And... Let me know how you think I did. And uh, by the way, we have the non hollow Aquapolis returns coming up as well. And so I will, when I get, when those returns come in, I'll open it up and that'll be the full picture of like the whole set. So until next, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care.